As for you guys on YouTube, it may be a repo truck, but uh, you got a little wheel lift, uh, Vulcan unit, some lower work lights. Of course, you know you gotta have the LEDs. Set of spoons. Go with the wheel lift there. Got four levers here. Deck forward backwards. Tilt. My winch. Wheel lift in and out. Wheel lift up and down. Of I'm only a six wheeler. Set of dualies there. And we're in Canada, so we uh, do CAA calls with this unit. Got a set of work lights up here on the winch. Up on my deck. Another set of work lights up there on my light bar. Of course, the letter left are running for you so you guys can hear it. She's an extended cab international. You can catch that there. The 4300 DT 4466. Of course, all your CAA trucks up here, most of them, well, 95% of them anyway, have member service on the fenders. Or somewhere in visible sight. Big international drill for you. Driver side's not too clean, but the, uh, you know, passenger side has to be definitely kept clean. In Ontario here, we got a policy. No smoking in our units. Doesn't mean the guys don't, it just means you're not supposed to. There's two side boxes for all my tools and junk. The other side of the deck here. Most of the uh, CA companies prefer to have uh, a wreck master, mainly to do uh, recovery. That's the outside of the unit, and I'll give you a quick peek on the inside here. Most of your CAA trucks are uh, subcontracted to another company. We want to mention the companies. Big gauges. There's how you see my calls. Passenger seat there. Standing cab. There I'll scroll over smoking sticker. Radio. And of course this thing happens to be an automatic. Not a bad little unit. I uh Probably wouldn't want to use it for repo work. And she's already got a fair amount of mileage on her. She's working on running with a GPS, CB, got your cell phones. And if I want to get for the computer, you now we've got to have your coffee. So that's what I get to run right now for a truck. Do all CAA work, a uh, couple cash calls, no uh, no repo of these unfortunately. And of course, you know, we got controls on both sides, you know, just in case, you know, you're in an area where standing on one side of the truck could put in danger your life. On the side of this side, see the spoon on each side. They go into the wheel left here. You slide right in here, you see that? Slide in there, and there's pins in the uh, wheel and the spoons to lock into this little pin here, if you can see it there. And these spin around, and they slide in and out, so that you can get it around the wheels of your car. You don't have to strap it with these. We do have to use security chains. You can see the hook hanging out of the back here for uh, one of the chains. Fortunately, uh, being a big uh, international flatbed, we have a ball on the back there. See a little ball there? After pulling trailers, so we can do a double with a trailer or uh, we can haul two cars. Makes it a little easier. Uh, sometimes members are pulling a trailer. We take their vehicle and their trailer. And of course, I prefer myself. Big steel deck. The aluminum decks are nicer if you don't want to weigh that much, but they're not as efficient. 
especially up in this area where you see all this snow. It tends to lake in your weight, takes your weight off your truck a little bit and you slip and slide. Things are like a great big toboggan if you don't know how to drive them. I'm going to show those work lights there. Go up there. First we got our big beacon bar. So that's what I'm driving right now. Not very good for doing repos I'd have to say because you can hear you can't sneak into anywhere with one of these things. And the uh, see the exhaust down there. I don't know if you can see that. Well, that bellows right on the ground. It kind of lets everybody know you're there. So I'd highly suggest not using this for doing repo work. Unless you know you got the law enforcement there helping you out. But I thought I'd give you a peek of my truck. We'll uh, call this take one of another hopeful uh, 10 to 20 years of uh, towing. Looking at getting into the repo business, but uh, we'll see what happens there. Street Wolf out. Catch you on the flip side.